What is the apostasy or falling away from the faith in the last days? The apostasy of the last days is repeatedly mentioned in the New Testament by Jesus and the apostles. The apostasy is a mass defection and abandonment of the Christian faith by those within and outside the church. The apostasy began in the time of the apostles and will grow and continue throughout the present age and will culminate with the advent of the Antichrist during end time events. Antichrists have abounded in the current church age as evidence of the ecclesiastical apostasy and are harbingers of the final Antichrist to come. 1 John 4, 1 through 3, I read, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try or test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world. In 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 4, the Apostle Paul predicts there will be a universal defection and denial of the Christian faith prior to the rise of Antichrist and the subsequent return of Jesus Christ. The Greek word for falling away used in 2 Thessalonians 2.3 is apostasia, from whence we get the English word apostasy, which means a religious defection, departure, or desertion from a previous stand or position. The website BibleTools.org accurately defines the phrase for falling away when stating, the falling away is a translation of the New Testament Greek word apostasia, meaning departure, forsaking, defection, or apostasy. In secular Greek, the word is used politically of rebels. Thus, in the present context, it denotes a departure or apostasy from the faith, the revealed truth of God. See 1 Timothy 4.1. Such a defection from the true gospel and sound biblical doctrine was a very real concern for the first century apostles. Paul, Peter, John, James, and Jude all warn of it in their letters. Despite their warnings, it did indeed occur as the century wore on. Some Bible commentators, however, believe the departure of 2 Thessalonians 2.3 refers to the rapture when all born-again Christians in the church depart from the earth when Christ comes for them in the air, 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 through 17. This meaning is untenable because the term for departure or apostasy usually means a defection from sound biblical doctrine, and the meaning is further reinforced by the fact the Antichrist will arise in the wake of the apostasy or universal abandonment of the Christian faith. Furthermore, Paul specifically mentions the unrighteous deception in 2 Thessalonians 2.10, an act in which the people depart from the truth of God. In verse 7, Paul names it the mystery of lawlessness, a set of beliefs that is totally contrary to the truth, verses 10 through 12. This deception is the lie that Satan has always foisted on mankind, that we do not need to obey God's law or believe in his word. See Genesis 3, 4, Romans 1, 21 through 25. Thus, the falling away predicted in the last days is a universal departure from the biblical faith of Christianity. This apostasy was predicted not only for the present church age, but also for the tribulation period to follow, Revelation chapter 6 through 18. Jesus foretold the universal apostasy in the world with the proliferation and presence of false Christs and false prophets right up to his second coming, Matthew 24, 5 and 23 through 26. Apostasy has spread to every major denomination of worldwide Christendom. Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, and Protestant churches have all been infected with the last day's apostasy without exception. Today, we are seeing apostasy by individuals, denominations, and major churches throughout the world. Many Christian colleges and seminaries are also falling into apostasy. 
Apostasy is the denial of any or all historic essentials of the Christian faith based upon the Word of God. An apostate would then deny vital truths like the deity of Christ, the virgin birth of Christ, the second coming, the inerrancy of Scripture, salvation by faith alone, the authority of Scripture alone, the literal bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ, the incarnation, the sinless life of Christ, and the death of Christ as an atonement to pay the penalty for our sins. An apostate is one who denies the core essential beliefs of the Christian faith necessary for salvation. The apostate can be one who remains within the church or one who leaves the church. Either way, the apostate was never saved in the first place. In the book, The Coming Apostasy, authors Mark Hitchcock and Jeff Kinley provide a clear definition of what an apostate is. They write, Apostates are those who profess faith but rebel or fall away from it. They never possess Christ and eternal life but simply professed faith. Apostates are consistently characterized by two things in the New Testament, false doctrine and ungodly living. Apostates believe wrong and behave wrong. They profess to know God, but by their deeds they deny Him. Apostates are the fifth column within the whole church. A classic example of an apostate in the inner circle of Jesus was, of course, the false apostle Judas Iscariot. Like all apostates, he first professed and followed Jesus Christ for some time, but ultimately he betrayed the Lord in the end and departed from Jesus and denied him for short personal gain, 30 pieces of silver. In these last days, it is critical for the born-again Bible believer to pray for discernment and thereby combat apostasy within and without the church and earnestly contend for the faith with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Jude 1.3, Ephesians 6.17.